Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to Bakes by Mal. If you're new here, I'm Mal and I was a finalist on Junior Bake Off 2019 and you've stumbled upon my YouTube channel where I show you how to make lots of cakes and sweet treats. In today's video, we're doing something really fun and highly, highly requested. You guys have been driving me crazy because you all want to know how to make heart cakesicles. So these have been trending on Instagram for a few years now, but recently they've made a really big comeback and I'm not mad about it. I love them. I make them every week. I'm obsessed. And I thought, why don't I show you guys how I make them? If you haven't already, make sure to check out my Instagram and Facebook at BakesByMail and a sprinkle of glitter and also my TikTok at BakesByMail. Without further ado, let's get into it. To get started, you only need three ingredients. These are really, really easy to make, but and some um, specialist equipment, but we'll get to that in a minute. First, you will need some chocolate. So the type of chocolate you use is actually quite important because if you use, well, if you buy chocolate from the supermarket, one, when you melt it, it tends to go very yellow, and two, um, when it kind of firms up, it doesn't firm up like crispy and you don't get a nice snack. So I like to use the Deco Melts from Pond Cakes. You can use like the Wilton Candy Melts. Any like chocolate that's um, specially made to decorate things. But apart from that, you're gonna need some cake, cake pop mix. So this is just some cake. It's just vanilla cake that I've crushed up and I've mixed it with a bit of buttercream. And it makes this like, I don't know, like cake dough, I guess. And this is like just your basic cake pop recipe and I'll leave the ratios of cake to buttercream in the description box below. And last you will need is the mould. This is the most important part. You can get these from Amazon and I'll link my one down in the description box below. So to get started, I'm gonna melt my white chocolate and I'm gonna do that at 30 second bursts in the microwave. And you can see I've taken it out of the microwave and it's all melted. And you can see it stayed so, so white. But I'm gonna um, go ahead and distribute this between my moulds. I like to do about a teaspoon, like so. And you wanna go ahead and do that for all of them. And don't worry too much if it gets kind of on the sides of the moulds. And we'll clean that up later. And then you wanna take your um, stick or whatever you're using and start spreading it up the sides of the mould and you can kind of pick it up and give it a swirl go in with a second um, layer so I'm going to pop this into the fridge for about 10 minutes to just set up completely and then I'll come back and do layer number two and this one you don't need to do as much in the middle you kind of spread it along the side Push it 
and you want to start pressing into the mould with clean hands. molds up with the cake and I've gone ahead and melted some more chocolate and again with the measurements for the chocolate this is all to eye so I'll try and leave some kind of measurements in the description box below but I'm just going to start by putting some small blobs of chocolate on it each and then taking a another skewer I'm just going to spread it around to the touch now and I'm going to clean up the edges using a paring knife it's really simple you just kind of want to use it and chip off any bits that kind of go over the edge and you're left with a really clean line flush with the sides of the um, mould and now I'm going to pop them out which is the exciting bit so you can see they come out really nice and shiny and what I like to do is just run my fingers around the edges just to smooth them out a little bit And to decorate these, I'm going to keep it really simple and just do some gold splatters on top. So I've got some uh, metallic powder here. It's by Rainbow Dust. It's the Edible Silk range and it's in the colour Metallic Ginger Glow. And on this plate, I've already got a bit of water. And you want to add a little bit to your plate. Start mixing it in with the water. And to do this effect, I've got a big paintbrush here with lots of bristles. And you can use your um, hand and then tap it on top like this. oh my god it's literally everywhere um and i just spray them on top and it gives it like a kind of pearl effect you get this really really pretty 
So these are my finished heart capsicles. I went with a more simple design today with just some white and gold, but I really, really like how they turned out. And if you give these a go, make sure to tag me and use the hashtag BitSlimeArt so I can see all of your beautiful recreations. And make sure to hit the subscribe button and smash a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed. And yeah, thank you for watching.